I'm going to show y'all how to run a caulk gun. Pretty simple. I'm going to do one in real time. Then I'm going to do one and show y'all how it's done. So, here we go. Everybody thinks you're supposed to put your fingers in this stuff, but really and truthfully, your oil in your hands has a bad reaction with this. You really don't want to put your hands in it as a lot. All right, so. The trick to running a nice bead of caulk is how you cut your tip. Look here, we got a small gap. So we want to cut, eh, we'll go about a quarter inch, go about 40 degrees, cut it off like so. Then you want to go, this is a good coconut, AVS 2000, about 16, 18 dollars, dripless. Having a good caulk gun really helps out. Now, you wanna go slow. Put your tip in there. Keep that bead right in front of it. Keep that tip pressed in tight. And if you see, there's really no need to put your fingers in that. If you take your time, it gets a little faster once you learn how to do it. That's pretty much it. Just a second, we'll show you how to fill in big gaps. Like this big giant one down here at the bottom. Another good tip is to keep this right here, this tip cleaned off. It starts building up on it. That's when you start getting the flood. It comes out the side. That's not good. That's when you have to put your hands in it. So you want to go slow. Just keep that bead right in front of the caulk gun. Just like so. All right, time to fill in this big gap down here at the bottom. Show them that big gap, okay? It's pretty big, you can see. You can get your finger in there. I almost lose the homeowner's razor knife. Now what we'll do is we'll cut this there, like so. We're not going to try to fill this all in one. We're just going to run a little bead on the back. Like so. And we're going to come back. Change the angle of our caulk gun. No backer rod needed. Backer rod's a waste of money. Never works.
Hampton.